Registered Phenomena Code 034 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Contact Hazard Corrosive Hazard Extreme Temperature Hazard Containment Protocols Under no circumstances are any personnel permitted to handle open instances of the RPC-034 without appropriate hazmat gear. All unopened instances will be retained within the respective packaging originally discovered in and stored within warehouse. At site, an on-site protocol will be followed in accordance with general site storage and containment procedures for stock and sorting purposes. The packaging of RPC-034 shall be placed upon specialized sensor pallets to detect any possible leakage of highly acidic compounds. If any such breaches occur, the nearest on-site hazardous material and waste management team will be contacted immediately via a remote alarm. Removal of any instance of the RPC-034 from their storage room must be recorded in document U.L. Open instances of the RPC-034 will also be recorded when placed back within a storage area and labeled appropriately. No more than two instances of the RPC-034 can be removed at any given time without permission from two Level 3 security clearance personnel or higher. Description. RPC-034 is an unmarked brand of toothpaste, consisting of three objects each with their own anomalous properties. RPC-034-2 A red packaging container, measuring 20 cm in length. RPC-034-3 A white, unmarked 170-gram tube with a red cap. RPC-034-4 One basic red toothbrush, measuring 15 cm in length. RPC-034-3 and RPC-034-4 always comes packaged together within RPC-034-2. The contents of RPC-034-3 is a multicolored paste not unlike modern-day toothpaste composed of currently unknown, highly acidic compounds, capable of melting through any solid substance it comes into contact with. These melted substances release a non-hazardous gas cloud described to prominently smell of mint. Tracing of internal compounds within the paste-like substance has proven extremely difficult due to its acidic nature. The only known objects resistant to 034-3's effects are human and animal teeth tooth enamel, RPC-034-2, and RPC-034-4. The anomalous resistance of these two objects and the tube of 034-3 itself extends not only to the paste but other highly acidic or corrosive compounds, such as sulfuric and fluoral antimonic acid. Requests for use of empty variation of these objects for chemical experimentation elsewhere must be processed through the on-site manager and storage director. RPC-034-3 tested samples of teeth from various sources, human or otherwise, show an increased tolerance against degradation and breakdown, gaining the same level of resistance as RPC-034-2 and RPC-034-4's, the highly acidic and corrosive compounds. No other tested materials have exhibited these traits thus far. Further testing conducted utilizing RPC-034-3 with various materials is ongoing. Refer to the on-site director for details and permissions. Cross-testing with other RPCs is currently pending board approval. The RPC Authority first came into contact with large amounts of RPC-034 in the town of New York on April 19 after multiple reports of burn-related deaths were received by the local police department. Consult Addendum 034-A. Reports of the victims, when discovered, were consistently found within bathrooms or kitchens, with the lower jaw, esophagus, and most of entirely burned or dissolved away, as well as various holes dissolved into the floor and surrounding furniture both beneath and around the victim. A particular note were the leftover teeth of said victims after presumably using RPC-034 to clean them. These teeth were entirely sterile and crisply whitened, with no visible signs of corrosion. A total of 
delivery crates of RPC-034 were found on board a brand delivery truck en route to various supermarkets across the state. When questioned by undercover RPC agents posing as local police, the driver reported having no knowledge of the hazardous product he was delivering. All contents of the delivery were confiscated, and the driver was given Class A amnestics. Authority units followed up with an interview of the local distributor's staff, reporting no knowledge of any unmarked toothpaste. An investigation into how the company acquired such items is currently underway, including a statewide search for any more similar burn reports, as well as a mass confiscation of any previously delivered product, reported having been sold at a discount. Addendum 034-A Recorded audio log of local police report Log recorded April 19 at 9.52 p.m. Hello. Police, what is the nature of your emergency? Civilian, agonized screaming can be heard emanating from the background. But please, hello? My husband, he's, he's… oh god, he's… he's burning! Please! He… he's… Ma'am, I need you to calm down and speak more clearly. What's wrong with your husband? Hello? Ma'am? At this point, the caller is sobbing hysterically over the phone, and nothing discernible can be distinguished from the other end. A loud sizzling can be heard underneath the voice of the caller as the responder contacts dispatch. All reported incidents involving RPC-034 have been followed through by RPC agents. The victims questioned about their acquisition of RPC-034 and given Class A amnestics. 